Okay, what is up guys? Today I'm filming a little vlog. Right now I'm about to film my podcast. I just checked the freaking sound and it sounds so freaking good. It sounds better than my iPhone. It sounds really low and it kind of bothers the fuck out of me. Um, but if you're new, subscribe, like this video, comment, check out my other videos. If you um, haven't kept up with them, you are missing out. Everything's linked down below. Um, check out my podcast, of course, Pretty Open Minded, my Etsy, Butterfly Organics. Everything is linked down below. So make sure you are keeping up with me, like this video, comment. Also, do check peep the new intro. I filmed that to, I mean, I edited it today because I want to go into a new year with, um, a new intro because i've had the same intro for like over two years also waiting on a burrito because my mom door dashed a burrito for me and um yesterday i had a burrito and it was cold it was cold it came here cold i don't do that shit so i had to like put in the oven like all our food was cold okay because normally when i get that food their food from there like this specific place like i don't want to say but literally it's never came to the house cold so i felt some type of way um it also was tasting salty which i was like okay mm, somebody had a bad day i know this is a little bit after christmas but like let's be for real normally like normally it tastes really good for me to me like normally like it's the only restaurant i really like out here pretty much it's a like a taco shop it's inspired by like california um i think the makers of it was from california so that's why we started going there and there's times where it's like really fucking salty so i stopped getting like the shrimp burrito for that reason because it was just way too salty for me sometimes and like they overdo it with the salt out here my camera's dying love that but i also did my nails um this one hasn't came off yet and i don't want to like manipulate it to the point where i like ruin my nail like i did that the last time but i'm gonna use my mom's uh what the fuck is it called camera battery but this is what it's looking like so far it's not even focusing right now it's looking like it's really cute um this is just like a random one i put on i don't know how i'm feeling with this but the flower ones are really cute it's from amazon if you're wondering okay back to what i was saying before i got really interrupted um i just kind of go with the flow with everything when i film a podcast um i don't really have a script that i go off of i just kind of like go with it and um that's just how i do it but anyways i'm gonna film this it's probably gonna take me like a freaking hour to do i just can't tell sometimes if i want to like film it while i film the podcast because i've seen videos like that where they do both they like record the podcast and then they also film it and i've thought about doing that um i just didn't know how people would react to that because it's just like when i kind of go out of the box it's kind of like it's kind of like an iffy situation sometimes either it does really well or it does really bad and sometimes you just have to take that risk i have done it before but like i don't know why i deleted the footage it was really dumb of me to do because i don't know why i would do that but i did it like months ago now this camera battery is dying okay so um it was at two bars already i just kind of chose whatever the fuck i saw is this the burrito but um okay so we got the goods it was the burrito man it's kind of wet and i don't know why you guys it's not what you think it is so i don't know if my mom got a like quesadilla on the side but i normally get like a breakfast burrito it's warm it's warm it's okay it's a little dry but i ate a cheeto what the fuck i thought i saw a bird fly by but i'm gonna take a few bites of this probably talk with you guys for a little bit i have both the dogs right here begging for me begging for me to share with them but i don't i don't i don't share i don't share my food that's one thing about me i don't share my food like no even if we're dating I don't share my food. I'll take your food, but I won't share with you. I'm having a lot of indigestion issues because I do have like a history of like acid reflux and I've had it since like, <sighs> I kind of noticed my indigestion like got like a step further. And then I got here and I turned 18 and I started like, I remember like one time we were still living in the hotel for those couple of weeks. I laid down after I had something really, really spicy and my throat was burning. My mom was like, that's acid reflux. 
and I'm like, okay, I'm lactose intolerant, and now I have acid reflux. This is stupid. Like, who do I blame for this? Um, I've been having to take Pepto because it's just gotten that bad. Like, when I lay down, like I feel all the gas, and I feel like the acid, like, like um, burning right here, and it doesn't necessarily hurt. It's just really uncomfortable. Like when it's really spicy food, it will hurt. That's why in the last few years I've been like stepping back on the spicy food. Like I will be like, is this spicy? Because I know that I'm gonna regret it later. Tired of living like this. Like I had to take a gas X the other day. My grandma made us cookies. Like she does it every year. She's been doing this since like forever. I had a few of her cookies. Like I stopped eating it for a few days because I noticed that it made my stomach hurt a lot and I was like what is going on like I feel like this happens every year but I just pretend to be shocked about it because it's a lot of sugar and I ate two like yesterday my stomach was hurting so I was like okay let me just balance it out with two bananas they were bomb two bomb ass bananas I could see why Hennessy likes them they like them when they're like a certain stage in their life like like not too brown not too yellow it's like in the middle and it's not mushy so he um not hennessy storm what are you doing over there she was just eating some leftovers from wolf's bowl if i'm being honest like she has this obsession with eating from his bowl he has an obsession with eating from her bowl like it's just really weird like it's not like necessarily weird i just don't understand it in my opinion like i'm just like why because we we separated them for a reason like when we first got her we separated them for a reason because she was getting snappy with him in the beginning of the year hi okay i'm guessing she wants to be pet um like she was she snapped at him before so i was like okay and he was like i didn't know you were like that he was like in complete shock like he's never had like a dog snap at him before and we were all like shocked because i just heard like a grumble and a like a like a it was weird like I don't remember it but it just it was it was weird like it happened so fast and it was just like kind of get out of her butt get out of her boobs get out of her everything <laughs> so um anyways yeah I don't know if she got a quesadilla for you guys I don't even know if she got you guys fries let me go check can you get down look at her right now look at her look at her look at her bro bro I always look at her and I'm like bro get out of her butt I know, right? I'm always like, every time I look at her. I, yeah, this feels heavy. I think this is quesadillas, you guys. Oh, this is a, um, you guys can't have this. It has avocado on it. It's, um, what is that called? Garnia Sada. So, I thought it was a uh, quesadilla, but it's not. So, I... Uh, like look at her sometimes and i'm like how the fuck did people just abandon her like that she's a really well-behaved dog and i think she only snapped at wolf like once or twice but i think it's because she has food insecurity like she thinks that she's never gonna get food because she was out on the streets for so long i feel like now now that we had her for like eight nine months i feel like she's kind of submissive but it happens it happens it happens with a lot of animals but I also feel like she doesn't feel like she has to be in constant fight or flight mode anymore. So many birthdays coming up in February, um, like animal wise, human wise. There's probably like 10, 12, 15 people that I know that have their birthday in February. I should add a little sauce to it because um, it's so freaking dry. I said I was going to take a couple of bites. Where's the limit? there is no limit welcome to another episode of pretty open-minded today we're gonna be talking about goals for 2024 and a reflection of this year alone make sure you um like all that stuff share if you would like to i don't remember how i do my intros but um yeah i'm doing this recording on a different device i normally do it on my iphone but i did a little test run on this and it sounded really good on my mom's computer and I, I don't even have my mic with me is a crazy part like I do not have my mic with me and it's also kind of weird sometimes because when I use my mic it sounds very low too so I'm just like what's the point of having a mic then you know okay so I finished doing my podcast the thing that sucks about doing it on the computer versus the phone 
on the phone you can do it for like an hour like record for an hour an hour but on the computer you can only record for 30 minutes so i only got to like 22 minutes i just wanted to keep it short and sweet the audio sounds good but now i need to figure out what to film next but i also wanted to um reiterate that i do want to step up my editing game um I was looking on Pinterest on how to like step up my editing game and I came across like an app so I'm like gonna try that because I feel like yeah it's cute like the little edits that I do but I feel like it's just kind of overdone oh, like I know that everyone's doing like a minimal editing right now but I also want to see like how far my creativity can go with editing because um I feel like that would be cute but I also noticed like when I download this app they you can only edit like a hundred videos on the app and if you want unlimited ones you have to pay like 69 bucks i'm barely like on instagram now but to be fair like even tiktok is getting boring so everyone is just kind of talking about simone biles right now i don't know what else they're talking about but I don't know. Everyone was complaining about the Simone Biles situation, but it's not like she's gonna divorce him. So you're just so crazy getting too invested in the situation. Happy in her marriage, just let her be happy. <laughs> Cause like, when I see these marriages on TikTok, it just looks insufferable. You can tell that they don't like each other. Even though they're trying to like suck it up for content, you could tell that they dead ass don't like each other. Think like i just i don't know if you built a brand together like i guess i understand like why you're sucking up for the cameras but if you're doing it like separately and you have your boyfriend girlfriend on the channel here and there i don't really see the point um there's this one girl that i watched she just got out of like a a really toxic relationship like early this year and then she got to another relationship every time she posts her man I just kind of get worried because she's very open about a lot of different things in her life. I'm just hoping that this this situation is a lot better for her because I don't want to see another breakup video because seeing that other one and what he did to her, it was traumatic. I mean, she makes jokes about it, but she took him to court because of how bad it was. Sometimes I do get kind of like cringed out when people like as young as me make their whole relationship their personality even if they don't make co content together they make it their personality and i'm just like okay that was me before like 19 years old whatever you depend someone for happiness it's not gonna go well you should be pouring into yourself and not so much like oh my god we need to make this work every every two seconds like if it's not gonna work out it's not gonna work out it's just not everyone's gonna be meant for you um it's a thing like not everyone's gonna be your cup of tea but i was watching this one girl who was like four years younger than me and she i think the dude cheated on her before but like people in the comments were like mad that they got together but they they got an apartment together or a house together or whatever no, they live together, but I think she lives with her family, but he still lives with her, but I don't know. So, yeah, like, I never had a situation before, but I also am, like, um, I'm just gonna learn from other people's mistakes. Like, if I want someone to live with me, like, I want to live on my own first, because first, I value my space. Two, it's a growing experience, and three... I value my space. I like to have alone time where I de-stress and not have to worry about things. Like I like my de-stressing time where I just watch ASMR videos until I fall asleep. Um, I put on relaxing music because my guinea pigs could not stop fighting earlier. And I was just like, I don't know what to do because me yelling is not doing anything. So I just put on relaxing music and they froze and they were just like, they went back to sleep. And I don't know if it was just a con like a coincidental thing, 
but I thought that was weird because it was just like I never thought of doing it but I know that my mom does it for wolf so I was like let me try it for them because they just keep getting on my nerves like lately they just kept fighting it's mostly um Kanye beating up Pablo but today he started screaming so I can get intervene because he was just really bothered by whatever he was doing I don't know if he was trying to like get something out of his mouth or what I blinked okay but I was just like you know what I'm just gonna put on relaxing music and see how this goes because I'm just tired of hearing it all day and all night like all day and all night someone's bickering someone's crying it's annoying <laughs> watching this dude's video yesterday and tell me why it was just like um uh, a little like it was like a random video that pops up in my recommendation on YouTube I was curious and let me tell you it was just him getting greened out and like like a while camping and I was kind of intrigued because I'm just like this can go either really good or really bad okay so I watched it and tell me why the first few seconds of the video he's in his car he's bumping Isaiah Rashad I never really see like people bumping him on YouTube videos but it's from his old album Sylvia uh, Demo that one was with SZA and um he was playing that for like two seconds and I knew from that two seconds because he doesn't want to get copyrighted that it was Isaiah because I heard the beat and I just knew I never heard it in other people's video video is just his content is just centered around greening out and stuff is what I was just looking at the titles and stuff but he's interesting I mean he's like really calm um, he he appreciates nature a lot um, the vlog was cute I mean I didn't know he was my age but he's my age but he literally has like the same textured hair as me um he has like a little nose ring so if I was a dude I would probably look like him okay so it's the next day and right now I just been kind of like chilling and clean just I just cleaned this and they tipped it over call my doctor because we switched we switched we um switched insurances and um i was just trying to see if they accept it and they do accept it so i was like gucci i was geeked that was like the best news i got today because we haven't gone to said doctor's place in like two or three years um and i love that place i love that doctor's office even though it's like a little bit dirty it's a little bit ghetto the people there are freaking amazing i don't know what it is but even on the phone bro like the lady was so patient with me even though i was taking a while to look for like the the forms to see if we have like a member id for it and i was like oh i don't know like i don't think we got like the card yet but i found this other paper that has a member id i don't know if you could take it and uh she was still nice like she was so nice like they're never fucking rude on the phone sometimes when i would call like other places they're just like so rude here but for some reason at that doctor's forever like they've always been super sweet but we haven't gone to the doctors in like years and you should have a physical at least once or twice a year i'm due for a pap smear i didn't get one at 21 so i definitely need to get one at um next i'm definitely gonna get one next year um because it's due it's due i've been dreading this i've been avoiding it i've done it last year when i was like I'm not gonna say thought and bopping now but I was out there but I was also very protected by Allah so and condoms <laughs> out of the shower like I rushed because I kept hearing someone like ringing the doorbell a bunch of times and I'm like who the fuck is that like seriously it's annoying me and it was f like pissing the dog off so I was like I don't know who it is it's freaking um a delivery dude normally when my brother delivers food it's never like loud he does that uh thing where he clicks on like don't knock on the door but for some reason oh yeah my nail came off like literally before i filmed this clip it was bound to come off but maybe we should put that on right now i like the shape of um this what is this called almond shaped okay i normally go for the coffin like this this is like even when i get my nails professionally done i go for the uh coffin look but i think the almond look is cute on me though i forgot to tell you guys this like 
it's kind of crazy but like a month ago i don't know why i didn't say this during vlogmas and i'm surprised i'm even vlogging now i have a little story time for you guys so like last month i got like a dm on my twitter i'm like you guys on my twitter from this dude and this is it's like the guy that i follow for like music updates and he like slid in my dm saying that he wanted to spoil me and shit and i was like oh my god that's so hilarious like that's literally what i said because i was like bamboozled i was not sh i was like bro who the fuck are you at the end of the day but he slid in my dms a month ago and i think he got embarrassed because i didn't wasn't like you know giddy about it you know what i mean he's like 27 and he posts like music updates a lot and I only followed him for that reason. And also for months, for months, he's been unfollowing me, following me, unfollowing me, following me all this year pretty much for the last few months. And I was like, why does he keep doing that? It's really annoying. He has like, let me go check. Let me check. Because he does this like on a whim. Like, I don't know why he does this, but it's kind of annoying that he does it. He has almost 6,000 followers. Why are you checking for me? On Twitter, I have like 425 followers. Why are you checking for me? I'm shocked by that because I'm just like, why? Why do you keep insisting on doing that? Like every month, you're just following me, refollowing me. It's just like, it's annoying. It's like a cat and mouse thing, but like, it's a very one sided beef here or whatever. But I just had to tell you guys that because I was bamboozled. I literally screenshotted the picture, screenshot it, posted on Instagram because I was in disbelief. Because, like, not a lot of influencers slide in my DMs like that. So I was just kind of, like, you know, shocked because I'm such a small, like, creator. So I'm just like, bro, why are you checking for me, though? He wanted to spend 3K on me. And I was like, damn. You guys, I should have taken that offer, you know what I mean? But he has not talked to me in like a month. And I don't know if he got embarrassed. Oh, you scared me. Are you just yelling at them? On video? Are you yes. You? Yes. <laughs> this is literally her fault. This is literally her fault. You need to tell them right now. First of all, the neighbors can hear you. Oh yeah, my window is open. <laughs>